Boss, this locomotive is moving. Really? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Railroad Corporation. I'm your mate, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be taking a look at the first DLC to the game called Civil War. Now, the game is all about, as the title suggests, it's about trains, it's about you building yourself a gigantic railroad network across the United States. And, well, what exactly you'll be doing over here? You'll be the pioneer. You'll be the pioneer of the first track of the first locomotive. You'll be building tracks, you'll be supplying cities, you'll be supplying, I think, factories, and then a bunch of other stuff. Now, the key is coming from the wonderful people of Iceberg Interactive. Uh, it actually took my sweet time uh, to, to record this game, that's for, that's for sure. But, you know, I actually want to dive in, and I want to show you guys this wonderful little chilling game. I hope it's actually gonna be chilling, because I need to chill to something. I need to chill! Do something, otherwise I'm gonna probably go crazy. And just so you know, I have never played this game, I have completely no idea how to play it, so this is gonna be an experience. So here we go, Civil War, let's see what the campaign has to offer. And apparently we can pick from one of the three uh, possible characters, so we can pick Alexander Lata, Friedrich Heeren, or Benjamin Roberts. Okay, and apparently each one of them have uh, different aspects that's gonna help us or gonna bring us into complete destruction and bankruptcy all commodity fuel consumption is 25% uh, less all company assets upkeep costs are 25% less as well increase the locomotive max p and pulling mass are reduced by 5% okay rank uh, le uh, rail link and soil excavation cost 25% less uh, less bridges and tunnels are cheaper mm, increases locomotive prices by 25 and the upkeep, ooh, okay, that's a lot. Is, uh, instead, fuel consumption is 50% higher and maximum train age is 25% less. Okay, but your locomotives have, so this guy is like for rushing, I guess. This guy is for uh, quick expanding. Is that the thing? Probably? Like, you know how this is in strategy games. You got the turtle guy, the rusher guy, uh, the research guy, stuff like that, so. Uh, I think that's something similar? It's hard to say exactly. Okay, you know what? I think Benjamin Roberts is actually gonna be the best uh, character we're gonna pick. He's, I think he's like more of a turtle guy. So, you know, my favorite one. So let's see how far we're gonna go. Good day! Let me thank you for hiring me as the company CEO. I am sure that your experience and my skills will contribute to the development of the business, even during the upcoming political crisis. Um, North State's government is concerned about mm, seasonal disruption of southern states, and although no one speaks out loud about the war, the command believes that the army should be ready for every possible scenario. So the army has announced a competition for gunpowder supply. We need to take part in the competition, because the first company to supply a scientific number of carriages with gunpowder will be able to continue cooperation with the government in the future. And our service will be needed even more if the political crisis nevertheless develops into a military confrontation. Sure. Uh, okay, our office in the New York. New York. New York. <laughs> what? What English word was that supposed to be near? New York. Shut up. Let me remind you. Uh, that we should focus on delivering a gunpowder to in the competition. Gunpowder produces requires many resources. Whatever that thing is, that's probably sulfur. Oh no, that's purite. And salt pepper can be mined in local mines. Okay. Wood, then that thing, and probably... Oh, that's the gunpowder. Okay. Also, authorities have defined only three locations where they accept gunpowder. Local warehouse, Alton Town, local warehouse, Abany, local warehouse, Laconia. Keep in mind that to produce necessary amount of uh, commodities, we can build our own gunpowder mills or use the existing local facilities. And by the way, I have managed to open an office for our company in New York. It's the best place to start a railroad network from, I suppose. Is it? Is it actually it? Okay, let's see how big the United States are. How wonderful they are. How proud they are. So I take a look around what exactly we are working here with. So for example, this city over here provides us with coal mine. Okay, so there's coal over there. And uh, then we got whiskey refinery over here. Mm, Post people. Right, this place can make gunpowder. Alright, so that's one of the resources. I need to look for the other uh, four actually. Right, there's a big city over here that provides with a bunch of resources but also requires a bunch of resources. Then we got the harbor over here which provides you with cotton. 
We could try to use the Gotham for something, I believe. Uh, okay, this one provides you with with planks. This one provides with tools and other crap. Okay, there's farmers over here. Some more coal mines over here. Steel. Uh, then we got another coal mine over here. More posts. Okay, so there's like a lot of demand everywhere, but very little uh, sources of potential resources. Okay, so is there like a way for me to get resources? Check for new contracts. Okay, not available. Can I somehow build uh, a factory, for example, that's gonna supply me with something? I think I can. I just need to find the right button to do so. For now, I think we need to start some type of a connection over here. Uh, so that I'll be able to make some money, right? So we got... Oh, how nice. Hey, this is nice. Okay, I need to make myself... Uh, some train tracks over here, so we're gonna build one here, and then we're gonna go all the way to this little train station over here, so let's make like a gentle turn Okay, maybe a bit more gentle There you go uh, Right, and this was gonna get connected over here, all right, so that's gonna cost me uh, 13,000 Confirm right so we got ourselves a uh, new train station over here Right, okay gunpowder mill. That's not the thing. I'm gonna use at the moment Coal mine. Mm, anybody needs coal over here? I don't think so for now. Right, problem is that I don't really see any. I think I have to wait first for some businesses to open. Otherwise, we won't be able to do anything. Uh, wait, what's this? Set the all direction. Oh! Okay. So I'm guessing that we have to probably get ourselves, you know, double connection over here. Uh, okay, for now, leave us at this. I don't think we're gonna need that many trains. Speaking of trains, let's get ourselves a locomotive. Best friend! I would love to have a friend! Okay, add stations. So, this is probably like the standard thing. Is it? Uh, hello? <laughs> did I add it actually the train? Buy locomotives. Check for contracts. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a bloody second. Ah, okay. So, add station. Right, so this one is called New York. Okay, load and unload whatever. Add station, and then you're gonna go to New Heaven. Hey, can you just click that thing? Awesome! Right, so that works. Uh, appoint train to move to this station right after route modifications are applied. Uh, I don't think so. Right, load, unload. Choose what cargo to load into the train. Hmm, post? Okay, unload. Post. And load. Post. And unload. Post? Okay, that kind of works. What else we could try to load over here? Uh, cotton? Can I do actually something with cotton? I don't think that the city is gonna require cotton. It requires clothing though. So if I'm gonna find somebody who can actually turn cotton into clothing, then well, that's gonna be a completely different story. Textiles. Oh, really? Hmm. No, but that's a demand. I still need to look for like a factory. Okay, apply this. Right, I think the train should spawn? Waiting for that free track. The track is free! What you talking about? Ah, there it goes. Ha <laughs> ha! It's... well, it's a humble beginning, I guess. And I wonder how much money one uh, wagon of posts is gonna actually uh, deliver me over here. You guys are planning to build some type of infrastructure very soon. That'll be very helpful. Almost 2,000. Okay. Okay, I can work with that. Right, so now I think uh, that we need to actually grow some cities. So for that, I think we're gonna need to give them some resources. So for example, this one over here has South Mill, and we need, uh, I believe, planks everywhere. And, well, the price is actually quite decent, I would say. But, I don't know where to get logs. Like, logs, I can get logs from here. So I wonder if I can actually just get myself... Okay. Uh, start reconstruction from the existing joints. Oh no! Okay, so that means I have to start all the way from down here if I want to actually get myself some locks. That's not gonna be good. Okay, I'm guessing that those things won't do anything without having proper resources, so that's not even a point of going over there. Unless I can try to find some... Uh, some locks over here. Nope! Don't see anything. Well, that's just great! Right, we're making some money over here, but that's not enough. I need to actually make more money. Uh, okay, so let's see how we can actually try to develop this thing. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's gonna be a bit of a problem, but okay. Right, let's roll. 
a train track from this city all the way up here. Can I actually do something like this? Yeah, okay. How much is it gonna cost me? Give me the price. A lot, but okay. So, uh, train track over here, a station as well. And I need to... I need to go through this city then, and then to go to that one that's gonna provide me with locks. I think that's actually gonna be the gr great idea. Neo, you're so smart! I know, right? Okay, so you go here, then here, through the forests, nobody cares. Maybe like this. Okay, then make like a nice turn. And you're gonna build yourself a station over here. Actually, no, 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 no. Undo. Undo, 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 undo. Because I'm trying to resume. Aha! Okay. Go over here and yes, like this. Beautiful. Okay, uh, 24,000. Good, confirm. Let's build another train track and I'm gonna go next to my competition so they can see that my tracks are better than their tracks because my tracks have been blessed by the touch of Neo Dynamite, the CEO of the Syndicate. There you go. Right. So now I got access to locks, right? Uh, okay, hold a second. Buy locomotive. Buy this bad boy. Add station. This one. Alright, and I want you to load uh, wood. I want you to load actually a lot of wood. I cannot load more. Hello. <laughs> I want to load more. Okay, unload. Wood. Load. Oh, wait. I'm, I'm dumb. Okay, go over here. Uh, unload. No, 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 no. Don't load that thing. I want you to unload wood. Unload wood. Okay, load in return. Post. Uh, load here, post. Unload here, post. Unload here, post. Okay. Uh, do you want to transport people? Probably. I don't know. I don't. I just don't understand. Supplies wood. You should be. Taking wood? Why are you not taking wood? What the fuck is happening over here? This city demands wood. He has a bloody ass lumber yard, or whatever that thing is, within the city limit, and it's not fulfilling its need for for wood. What? Oh my god! This train took ages to get over here. Oh, okay. Next time, don't bring any uh, people. Like we have to limit the amount of resources. Oh, now you've sped it up. Okay. Three thousand. Three thousand. Two thousand. Okay, that's nice. And you took a bunch of gold as well. Right, but that's a bit of a, a bit of a progress over here. Uh, okay. So now, what? I would like to notify that there are additional trade opportunities in port cities. There are goods that deliver to the warehouses that may not be produced by local industries, but also may just be other goods at good price. The warehouses that I speak of are located in those cities. Yeah, I know. But you know what? That doesn't give me a jack shit. Like, what exactly is... Uh, the port in New York you're giving me right now. Yeah, exactly. Nothing. You know what? I was f I, I was thinking that I'm doing good, right? I got stations, I got railroads and stuff like that. And then, uh, then I look at what the competition is doing. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I need to get money. I need to get some money fast. My God! Okay, that's a bit of a problem. And by a little bit, I mean like a lot. Oh, crap. Okay. Right, faster guys, we need to make money. <laughs> we need to make tremendous amounts of money. We need to work faster. I may be losing money. I may be on the last position, but I still haven't given up. So basically what I did, uh, I've made myself like a double chain track over here, as you can see. I still don't know how to make like proper tracks, so I'm just trying to, you know, <laughs> go with the flow, I guess. So there's a gigantic track going over here. Hello, who the fuck are you? Wait, 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 hold on a second. What you, we were? Uh, why are you going around? <laughs> you should be using this track. Okay, right. Maybe when I was rebuilding this thing, the train was already in motion. I don't know. So basically, uh, the train the train goes over there. He picks up the wood. He picks up the paper. He goes over here. He drops this shit. Uh, he grabs uh, workers. He goes over here. He drops the workers. He picks up coal, and then he goes back to that uh, city over there. Then he rise and repeat. Get the planks, get the paper, uh, get to that city, and so on and so forth. Uh, so now, I kinda need to get to the opposite side of the river, and I need to get my hands on the grain. Yeah, boy! That's where the money is, because, you know, the army runs on stomach. That's the basics of real-time strategy games, and also this train is... Can you move even slower? Jesus! Boss, this locomotive is moving. Really? 
Is it really moving? What? Oh well. Oh, those guys have a lot of money apparently. <laughs> uh, okay, but that doesn't change anything. Yeah, I, I cannot bid for that thing. Fuck off. Why is this train not going? Hello? Waiting for somebody? I don't see any potential things that could possibly stop you. Okay, how about we can increase the size of that uh, station over here. I've pressed the button. Did that give me anything? New facility. Filling station speed up. Repair shop. Cheaper maintenance. Coal warehouse. Yeah, okay, that's nice, but shouldn't you like... Uh, rooms? Level? How do I get, like, more tracks at the same time, Whitfield? Which one? Uh, okay. I don't really care about that one, I guess. Wait, is it the one I wanted to... No, that's not the one I wanted to connect to. Okay, how I can increase the size of my station over here? Next level. Oh. Okay. There you go. Right. Place the second track on the different side. Okay, that's how it works. Right, so pause the game for like a second. Uh, remove this thing temporarily. Uh, remove this thing temporarily. And connect. And confirm. And connect. Beautiful! Haha! <laughs> nice! So I have to admit, this game is a lot more simple comparing it to the older uh, railroad games that I used to play on the channel. Like, a lot easier. It's more simplistic too. Like, that one requires, you know, like, like, proper planning. You know which one I'm referring to, right? Proper planning. You need to build the warehouses and you needed to worry about that the tracks are, like, the order. And you needed to worry about uh, which track actually allows you to go forward, which track allows you to go back. Uh, some weird ass connections, stuff like that, you know? It's like, oh, that's a lot of shit. This was more simple. Like, basically, if we want to change the direction of the, tra of the, of the, of the track, right? I just have to find it, click it once, and there it goes. That, that's it. I don't have to do anything else. <laughs> it's actually quite charming and, and calming on the heart. And for example, we can get some weird specialists over here. And this one over here is actually quite interesting. Wood will cost you 40% less. So to get him, we need to upgrade our office. Right, upgrade it. Uh, can I now get somebody over here? I don't think so. Okay, right, install high uh, HR department. All right, and now I can hire this guy, for example. Okay, trains max millage, mail transport profit. Okay, I'm actually transporting a lot of mail, so hire her as well. Wood will cost you 50% less. Coal ore will cost you 15% more. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna keep her in mind, but don't recruit her just yet. Right, that's interesting. Uh, okay, and I want to get my ass now over here on that side, over there. So... I just need to figure out how to make like proper, you know, railroad connections. How much is it gonna cost me to make a bridge? 20,000! Ooh, okay, ha. Uh, I think I can, I think I can work with this thing, right? 32,000! Sure, why not? And you can actually really clearly see how much profit you're making per like, uh, you know, connection, right? For, for, so for example, this one over here. Uh, ah, great, somebody else have started to deliver gunpowder. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I'm not exactly sure how to do that thing. I, I don't have, you know, that thing and, and a bunch of other things. Unless I can get it from the harbor, which I doubt. Wait, how exactly those guys are making that thing? Uh, you need to get the supplies from somewhere, right? How do you even do that? Oh, clever fucking bitch. You got this thing over here. And there's a lot of trains inside. Okay, right, so they got mines in one place. That's why they are so efficient at it. Clever girl. So I got some money. I wonder if I can actually buy, the, for example, this coal mine over here. Okay, just don't outbid me, please. <laughs> don't you fucking try. Ah, you son of a bitch. How much money are you paying for this thing? Really? I don't have that many much money. Okay, uh, I'm gonna bid anyway. You... Bastard. I want to bid more. Come on. Come on, allow me to bid. Allow me to bid. Oh. <laughs> okay, those guys are paying a lot of money. I need to learn how to make money first if we want to progress in this game, that's for sure. 
Oh no! No 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 no! I cannot buy this. He's gonna buy the coal mine, the only coal mine I have in my vicinity. And now, fuck now. Well, that's just great. Those guys are trying to completely limit my expansion, you know? This guy is trying to buy out my lumber yard, and this guy is trying to buy out my farm. <laughs> Stay away from mine. Dear customer, bring to your attention that you have a line of credit in your bank. Thank you. Fuck off. Come on, win this thing. Yes! I won the first one. Okay, now please tell me I'm gonna win the... Uh, oh shit, this guy goes in. Crap. Don't you fucking try to. The train broke as well. Right, bit. Anyway, I don't care. Okay, so this thing, city market. Dear customer, yeah, I know. Screw you. Can you select se uh, a commodity for for the list above? Oh, I can just select like that. Ha <laughs> ha! Beautiful. Bit. Mine. Save it first. I know. That's nice. So I'm actually selling the... Oh, so you need to first own the company and then you can try to sell the resources to the actual city. Oh, good to know, boys. Good to know. Thank you so much for this information. Uh, okay. Buildings upkeep. Increased number of buildings owned by your company will... Oh, shit. Ah, great. The upkeep is increased by 200. Thank you so much, game, for fucking me in the butt. I love to get fucked in the butt. So ladies and gentlemen, I think this is actually a good moment to leave this episode as over here because I'm not really sure I'm doing the right thing. Probably you should try to play you know, like a tutorial <laughs> before you're actually gonna try to do an episode of this thing. I just found out that I actually have to buy the upgrades on the uh, train station. Yeah, surprise. Uh, for the maintenance shop or the repair shop or whatever you're gonna call that thing. So basically now trains goes in. And now it's gonna get like some maintenance, I believe. Right? I don't see you getting maintenance. Hello? Wait, what? One locomotive at a time can be maintained at the station. I just did? Specs? Um, I don't think you did maintenance, you know that? Why? Why you didn't do maintenance and you just broke? You literally left the station and you broke immediately. Why you didn't do ma- Oh. That's why you have to press the button. Oh no. <laughs> There's a maintenance button over here. You have to press it. Apply. Oh, okay. Wait, does that mean is you're gonna maintain, maintain yourself over here all the time or only just this one time? Price per service. I have no idea. Maybe? One locomotive at a time can be refilled with fuel. Hmm, okay, remove all actions. Presidential election. What? Oh, great. So, some cities are gonna repair, uh, accept paper till the end of the elections. That's actually quite nice, I guess. So the trains goes in. And now you're getting maintenance? No, that's, that's the one's... Oh, that's the maintenance. Oh, the methods actually take a lot of time. Holy shit, man. Yeah, but basically that, that kind of works. So yeah, um, you all know that other game that I have played on the channel that is related to, you know, railroads and stuff like that. And I would say this is a similar idea because, well, it's, it's gonna be hard to come up with something, uh, you know, clever when it comes to this type of a game. But I would say that this one is a lot more simplistic. It does not mean it's like you know poor in, in its in its concepts and its in its uh, content or let's oh wait what sure army yeah yeah of course I'm gonna give you some grain where do you want me to collect to uh, Albany okay they even have connections to that city I don't think so oh wait oh so you want me to deliver grain over here well I got grain nearby so this could be fun. Right? So I can accept this thing. Contract the amount. Yeah. So I need to deliver a lot of a lot of that thing. Oh, and I think those guys are still expanding. That's actually quite interesting. And the best part is that I can just <laughs> connect to his railroad. <laughs> and I don't get railroads on the occupied by the train. Uh okay, give me a minute. Aha! 
I'm connected to you. What you gonna do now, bitch? <laughs> right, so add stations. Uh, I'm trying to add... Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Connect here. Connect here. And then tell the go guy to load lots of grain. And then a load. Say the amount of grain. There we go. Apply. Okay, get your ass over there and, you know, bring me the sauces. And then there's another fucking ass auction thingy. Which one this time? This one over here. Hmm. I wonder if I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> okay, unless I'm gonna run out of money again. <laughs> look at those bastards. Those guys look like they can drain your soul through your eyes. And then there's me. What? Okay, I know. Fucking a Sloan, I don't bloody ass care. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, it's more simplistic uh, when it comes to its mechanics, but it actually has a bit of a difficulty over here. Maybe it's just me who still doesn't know how to exactly play this game, but I've enjoyed it so far. Like, I really do. Uh, I just like those type of games, and I like the idea that I don't have to work my ass with the, with the actual railroads for this thing to work, right? So... If you guys want to try it yourself, there's gonna be a link in the description below, as always. I know that I didn't give the DLC uh, enough of a, like, you know, coverage over here. But this is the game that I really wanted to try, and I thought that showing you that the game actually right now has a DLC is actually a good idea. So I hope you guys understand that thing. Uh, I'm actually thinking about rolling a few episodes of the base game, so we can actually learn how to play this thing. And then maybe in the future we're gonna come back to the Civil War and try to actually do, uh, well, some better progress because right now I don't think I'm gonna win this thing. Right now the green guy have already supplied the army with 16 of the gunpowder and the blue guy with 6. But the thing is that they got actually access to the resources necessary. I don't and I don't know why and I don't know how to gain such such access. So see for example this guy has a uh, purity over here and he also got cell pe peter or whatever you're gonna call that thing. And this guy has wood over here right so they are delivering all of this crap over here. That's actually an interesting concept, so this is something I did quite familiar at some point, right? One track from the station where you only produce resources to the medium station that has, you know, let's say two railroad uh, tracks, then that goes across something to even a bigger station, and so on and so forth. Huh. Yeah, but still, that doesn't change the fact that those guys are cheating. They have a lot uh, a lot more connections right away. They actually start with a with a with a with a already set up uh, connection, which is kind of annoying. So I have to build everything from scratch. Maybe I should actually try to do develop towards uh, this side of the country. But still, that doesn't change the fact that I don't have the necessary resources. The closest one is over here, so I need that thing. I also gonna need wood. Okay, wood is not that big of a problem. Coal. I got coal over here. And then comes the Purite, which I don't have direct access to. Like, probably in the mountains somewhere. Which I... Oh, okay, this is like the closest one. So I have to connect to his railroad and basically use him for my own advantage. Huh, maybe that's how I'm exactly I'm supposed to do that thing. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. As I was saying, uh, if you want to try it yourself, link in the description below. For now, I'm gonna leave this thing over here and probably next episode is gonna be us actually trying to learn the game before trying to dive into it head first. But, you know, as I said, that's gonna be the thing for the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the like episode. Peace out a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.